let's get rolling all right let's start over here on this side um just to give you an overall view of the greenhouse as you can see it's got pretty good depth to it um i had to purchase the greenhouse film which um i'll put the price up on the screen right now the greenhouse film i'm probably gonna put everything that i bought from farm plastic supply okay so everything i bought from farm plastic supply will be on the screen right now and it'll be broken down the plastic the uh the wiggle wire channels and the wiggle uh, the wiggle wire um can't remember what else is on that invoice but it's all on the screen for you to see right there now something that i would say that had i known like i didn't have to spend that much money on this wiggle wire and the i mean it works great don't get me wrong pony up the extra bucks to you know to to, to use it but you could also do with this The same thing that I did down here, where I just put a um, like a little piece of trim board there to hold um, the plastic to the board on the inside, the two by four on the inside. You could have done some trim on the outside of this all the way down. Um, I mean, will it will it last as long? Maybe not. Um, will it outlast the plastic? I think it would, you know? So you maybe wouldn't have to pay for this if you put a piece of trim board down through here and secured it real nice. I also had to buy this this wind, wind rope, or I think that's what it's called. Um... I had to buy that. I had to buy these little clips right here. <clears throat> I already had the conduit laying around. This uh, this crank has conduit down the middle of it too, and I use that for my for my trellises, you know. So um, I always have some of that laying around, and I didn't have to pay for it, so I didn't figure that into the cost of this project. I did have to buy these. I bought these off of Amazon. I bought one for each side and uh, maybe 50 bucks or 20, 20 something bucks for each. So it's like about 50 bucks for the pair of them, uh, which is not bad at all. Um, I built, well, so all of the two by four frame I just, I repurposed some 2 by 4 that I had on my old rabbit coop or rabbit pins or whatever you want to call it. And so I didn't pay for any of the 2 by 4 or, or, or this trim wood right here. I didn't pay for, I mean, I paid for it before, but I didn't pay for it this time. So you would also have to factor that into the dollar amount. I didn't count these in the price, you know, because I, I, already, I already have bunch of this kind of stuff laying around um and then the frame there is just it's not a weight bearing frame with the two by fours okay the two by fours are just uh, only there so that i could attach that wiggle wire um track on it and or if I was going to do the trim on the outside instead of the wiggle wire, I would have still needed something to attach it to. So I thought the easiest way for me to do that was just to use two by four to do the whole frame. Two by four all the way down. Then it's, it's a two by four back there that goes the length of the, of the back over here. And so... A lot of people told me they were like, because they saw this frame here, like that and like that, with no supports and no, no anything, no supports in the corners, and they were like, "Oh, that thing's gonna collapse and whatnot." 
it's not going to collapse because it's just there to attach the plastic. If you have another way of attaching the plastic to this to this frame, you wouldn't need those two by fours. Okay, and I put two by fours at the top just to make it easy to slip the uh, plastic over it. It made it so much easier. <clears throat> so for you guys up north, um, you may have to do some reinforcing here. Um, this is not uh this wouldn't handle a heavy snow load but i would imagine that if you had a frame like this and you had somebody or you you could fabricate you know just take some conduit and and run it up to the top here you know just run you some run you some rows of it through here i think that that would handle a snow load for sure because, I mean, this, this uh, dog kennel is pretty sturdy. I mean, it's like I can do a pull-up on it. And, you know, so, I mean, it, it'll hold some snow. Um, other than that, it holds up to the rent. Uh, the rent. It holds up to the wind really, really, really well. We get some pretty good um, hurricane winds and whatnot out here. And it has held up really, really well. Let me take you back outside and show you something. So, um, obviously, there's a two by four running all the, the whole length of it over here as well on both sides, and that's just to connect the the wind rope on there. You need the wind rope, okay? Um, if you want to have roll up sides, which you need to have roll up sides. Um, I, I did it without this rope at first, and it's just a it's a total mess. Um, and you could probably find a better way to to do your uh, your side roll ups. I just I kind of went with what I had, and so I had ten foot conduit, but this is thirteen feet, and so I had to cut out another four foot section and attach it to the other conduit, but it doesn't. You need really one solid piece. And the reason why I say that, unless you know of another way to attach two pieces of conduit together, that little sleeve that you slide over both sides and then you put the little screws in, it holds them together from coming out, but they, but they wiggle. And so when it wiggles and you're rolling that up, it, as you can see, this side comes up faster because it's wobbling. Versus this side is just rolling. And so it comes up at an angle. I don't care about that angle. But that's another flaw in the design that I was okay with, with living with. Also, I recommend to attach this to the ground somehow. Um, if you have, you know, really strong winds and whatnot, I would... I would use something to attach that to the ground. So there you have it. Um, pretty, pretty inexpensive uh, greenhouse build. This is my first greenhouse that I've ever built. So if I was to change anything on the greenhouse, um, I don't really have anything I'd, I'd like to change at this point. Um, it's been doing great for me and I'm, I'm very happy with it. Obviously, you know, you might have to tweak it or whatever for your climate, your area. Um, like I said, I would probably add braces to the top to uh, to make sure that it handled the snow load and maybe some more bracing on the angles on the inside for that as well. I do feel that it would be able to handle the snow with just a, a few more bracing and, and that kind of stuff. In the description, I'll have links to all the um all the stuff that i had to buy uh, most of the most of the people i'm not affiliated with so um but i will give a shout out to farm plastic supply they are awesome the prices are very 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 reasonable and they have really good quality stuff and they have great customer service if you call them you get through to a person a person answers the phone you don't have to go through all the 
push this button and dial this number and all that stuff. And, um, and they're really, really helpful. So um, I highly recommend them. And like I said, I'll, I'll have them linked below as well. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. So if you haven't seen the video about my greenhouse tour, I'll go ahead and put it up right here. And um, if you like the video, like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.